Hi everyone, I'm Ben, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at the live Boolean feature in Maya 2023. So I'm a little bit late to the party, but I've just been using it and thought, oh, I might as well make a video since I found it to be pretty cool. So to begin with, I've got this cylinder here and I've got a box, which I've called A and the cylinder is B. And then what I'm just gonna do is select my A object, hold shift and select my B object, go to mesh, booleans, that all seems familiar, but now we've got a whole number of new options and these are all live. So after we do any of these operations, we can continue to update the boolean output by adjusting the input geometry. So I'm gonna choose union, which unions these two. You can see if I press three on the keyboard, they're somewhat connected now. And it's created this new surface for us and we still have the original input geometry, which is very cool. So I'm gonna press one to go back to the actual geometry. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and change the results. So you can see now I've got this B cylinder under this polyboolean tab and I can change from union to subtracting B from A. So I'm subtracting the cylinder from the box and I can go and subtract the box from the cylinder. Cool, maybe I want to do an intersection like so, that's great. Now I can also, you know, in any of these, at any point I can grab, let's say this input cylinder and just start moving it around. And you know, I can see it like so. And if you're finding it a little bit too much kind of going on visually, I may just even grab this poly surface and kind of offset it. And now I can see, you know, the, the output of what's going on here without the overlay very easily. So I'm just gonna go and say, grab the cylinder and maybe move it around a little bit and bring it along here. I'm gonna go back to my options here. We've got slice. Now I've, I've chosen slice and it seems like nothing's happened, but if we turn on our wireframe, we can see what's going on. We've got a slice in the geometry and there's a difference between this option slice and split edges. So if we look at slice and I go into face mode and select this face and then we'll see that we have separate shells now and this pops up relative to the adjacent um, faces. Now, if I undo that and I go back to um, my, my poly boolean and switch to split edges, if I now choose that same face that's been sliced, we can see that it's a little different, right? The, the border has been maintained and it moves the adjacent faces. So cool little distinction um, on nice little uh, attention to detail with those options. I'm gonna go back and just look at the hole punch. And we've also got the complement, which is the cutout, and that rounds out the options. So I'm just gonna go and say, I like that intersection, that looks cool. And I want this to be my geometry moving forward. So how do I finish up this, um, basically this operation? There's no buttons here. Well, I'll just go and delete history. You can see now the input geometry is destroyed and we just have the output of the Boolean. All right, I hope that helps and I'll see you in another video.